So yeah, the One UI 5.1 is now official, ships alongside the Samsung S23 series out of the box. The Galaxy S23 series will come with One UI 5.1, and we're excited to announce that One UI 5.1 We'll be rolling out to more Galaxy devices soon. The best part is Samsung is gonna roll out this software to other Samsung devices like really soon and there are so many visual and performance changes like this update is gonna be a blessing for your Samsung phone. So on left we have Samsung One UI 5.1 and on the right we have One UI 5 in Samsung S22 Ultra. So first off, the lock screen may look similar in both but we have a no clock customization option in the clock style of One UI 5.1. In One UI 5, it was tap on the circular white delete icon to delete the clock text and other shortcut. So that icon is now gone cause many had accidental touch and many were not able to tap on that small icon. So now we have no clock and no app option instead. The wallpaper section is same, huge change comes in the home screen thanks to the exciting new battery widget which is indeed a ripoff from Apple iOS. So this battery widget is gonna show you the status of your phone, S Pen, Galaxy Buds and smartwatch. There are two styles to pick from a circular design style and a rectangular informative 4x2 list widget. Samsung did some changes in the weather widget too, now shows more information like clear sky and the clock is now gone. The status bar, notification panel and quick settings are same. Yeah, I wish we had some changes in the quick settings but that's not the case in this one. Samsung says the search is now accurate and they were quite right about that. So when I made a search for power, it shows power saving in One UI 5.1 but battery level option in One UI 5. So great to see Samsung improving the AI and search algo. There are no too less changes in material you color palette, the apps are also same. So I'm gonna show you that one by one, here is dialer and the animations are snappier in One UI 5.1, you guys can watch in slow motion too, it is now smoother than the last OS. Message, camera and it has got a direct expert raw option in more page so you don't have to go to store and then search and install. Some of you guys were asking about music players so it is same like last one. I thought Samsung is gonna use squiggle progress bar like pixel but it is same like One UI 5 which was same like One UI 4. Shocking part is in gallery we now have iOS ish lift a subject from the photo background which works really great so now you can share it, save it or copy it from there. Settings got no to less changes but some options are now gone, some went into different micro settings so not a massive change to talk about. Some changes in the PIP mode, it is now easy to remove the window. Split screen mode now shows most often used apps and yet this is it in terms of visual changes. Finally Bixby text call is now live in both one UI, now for English and Korean language. Yeah, there are multiple voice to pick from and it is gonna sound like this. I'm Bixby. Choose the voice you'd like me to use for So yeah, this is it guys, the animations are quick and smooth, we have some new widget, there are some changes in privacy, multi-window and you guys can check the list of small ecosystem changes Samsung did from here. Thanks guys for watching, you can check these products from the shopping cart below, make sure to like, subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one, peace out.